Hey guys, it's Corey. Welcome back to my channel. I promise to bring you lots of good information to help you lose weight and balance your hormones. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. And what I really want to focus on is the power of mindset and how it's so important for not only focusing on helping those hormones, but also for how it is for our weight loss. So many times when we are trying to lose weight, we get into this mindset where we're like, I just can't do it, I'm so frustrated. You step on the scale and every single morning when you step on the scale, you're expecting some different number. And when that number doesn't show up, you get really, really frustrated. And maybe you're stepping on that scale every single day and so it's just defeating you. So when you go out to eat the healthy foods or make the changes that you need to make in your nutrition, you're already defeated. And so you don't want to keep going. So mindset is so important and it is so key. And so for today, I'm actually going to bring a snippet of a hormone workshop that Stacia and I did together. So if you don't know who Stacia is, Dr. Stacia Kelly is my business partner. She's been my best friend for 20 plus years. Um, we put on um, bodybuilding shows together. That's how we got started. But then our background was both in health and wellness. And when we got into our 40s and we realized that hormone balance was such a key for women, we really wanted to focus on that and really bring you different tools. So while I focus on sports medicine, fitness and nutrition, her background is a PhD in holistic health and hypnosis. So she brings that mindset component to everything that we do. So I wanted to share this snippet because I thought it was so important about the mindset and the key. So she's gonna walk through exactly her journey and what she did because using all of the tools and steps that we teach our clients, she lost 65 pounds. Now, when you looked at her beforehand, you wouldn't think that maybe she had 65 pounds to lose, but she lost 65 pounds Yes, using all the tools that we teach everyone in all of our videos and with our hormone solution in terms of the steps that you need to take for your nutrition and your workouts, but the missing component sometimes that people skip over, they think, ah, it's not such a big deal when we talk about it, even though we mentioned it at the very beginning of the course when we work with women, is the mindset and just how important it is for the mindset. So we are gonna switch over to that workshop because I want you to hear it in her voice and just experience everything she talks about how it works and it'll be a special bonus for you guys. So check it out. It's not, I wanted to visualize 127 pounds. I wanted to visualize maybe I, my next number was 186. Now I don't like the number. I didn't like the number then. I don't like the number now, but it was the next number. And it was the next number that my brain could factor in. If I tried to visualize 176, that was too fast, but I could visualize 186 from the one, whatever I was at. And when I got on the scale maybe it said 184, that was a victory, right? My brain, my body, everything in my body lit up and went, yes, I did it. And um, now, mind you, I didn't tell Corey I was doing this either. <laughs> so she didn't hear any of this. She didn't see me until what, February? So November to February. And she looked at me and she goes, what did you do? And I said, I'm down 20 some pounds. And I've been following our detox and I've been doing it. I didn't post about it on the internet. I didn't post about it anywhere. It was just, I needed to get my brain in line. And so the mindset portion, using that picture and picturing that in the morning, I did that at night too. So I would quiet myself down, I would sit and focus, and I would just visualize what I wanted to look and feel like and what I wanted the scale to say. That was such a big help, and it helped me um, when I was out and about. No, I'm not really hungry. Getting that visualization going got my body to start cooperating. So that leptin hormone, that the cortisol hormones, all of those hormones started to, to calm down and come down. I'm not hungry. I do. I am. Um, Corey eats what, three meals a day plus snacks. I eat two meals a day and I fast. I don't eat until after 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, sometimes it's after two. So sometimes I have a smaller window. I stop eating at 6 p.m. my time. Uh, she gets so annoyed with me when I'm out in California because by the time we get to dinner, I'm done. I, I've, I, my body said, no, I'm done. And I'm not really hungry or forcing myself to eat because I'm on a different time zone for a couple of days. Um, I just can't do it. And um, I learned through our testing that caffeine is fine for me. I can do caffeine and I can keep caffeine in, but I had to get rid of everything. So when we did our detox, I took out gluten. I took out eggs because eggs are on my sensitivity test. I took out, um, I can't eat red meat and chicken and everything when I'm out at a restaurant. They've been injecting it or they've been marinating it in milk. I'm allergic to cow's milk on that food sensitivity test. Anything over a two is sensitive. My cow's milk sensitivity, ladies, is a 71. 
That means it makes me sick, it inflames my system, and I can't eat for 24 hours without everything messing up my body. And my body's like, no, we don't like you. So that inflammation is just, it's, it's, it's such a big part of it. And when you, when you go through the process and you start really focusing on, I can do anything for one, 21 days, which is a length of our challenge. And two, I can do anything I put my mind to. I, it, you just, when you focus on it, you can do it, you can achieve it. If you keep saying I can't, then you can't. If you keep saying I can, you can. And it's just making it, making it so that you can. It's not hard. It's once for people, but um, the short version is one that you can use first thing in the morning you're going to sleep because I know we're all super busy, right? You can raise your hands. I know we're all super busy. It's uh, life is crazy, but it's really super simple. So wherever you are, plant your feet flat and sit up straight. Um, I'm going to teach you, it's called reverse pattern breathing. So for those of you who are in choir or who are singers, this is the opposite of what you've been taught. And you simply, when you breathe in, you pull your navel into your spine and you breathe up. So breathing in and up, lifting your chest up and then breathing out and down. So you breathe down and letting your stomach expand outwards. And you keep doing that while I'm talking because it's very hard for me to focus and do it while talking, but breathing in and up and out and down. And with your eyes closed, I simply want you to focus on feeling your body and telling your body, thank you. I don't think we give our bodies enough gratitude for everything it does during a day. We may be frustrated and we may be wanting it to change, but I want you to honor where you're at now and how it's gotten you through life up to this point and showing it some gratitude and just thanking it for getting you moving, and keeping moving, getting you around during the day, letting it do all the things that you know you can do continuing to breathe in and up and out and down. And saying thank you in your mind for all the accomplishments for your day, for your week, for your month, and even up to this point of your life. Really feeling your entire body smile and light up with the light of gratitude. And with that gratitude comes the ability now to make change. So if you've gotten on the scale recently, I want you to picture that number on the scale, picture your scale, picture the digital readout or the numerical readout that it has and tell it thank you. Thank you for getting me to this point in my life right now. And then I want you to picture that scale number moving down two pounds whatever that next number is. Not the five, not the 10, not the extra, just the two, whatever that next number is. And feeling your entire body light up with light and energy, with joy that you've reached that goal. And then it is now your new set point. And that number is your new set point. Knowing full well that when you do this again and after the numbers reach that goal, you're going to change that number and you're going to be just as joyous and just as happy that it reached that goal. And then you're going to picture how your clothes are fitting. Picture that favorite outfit, whatever that outfit is, and how you want it to look on you and how you want to feel in it. And then picture where you're going to go in that outfit. Are you? Is it an outfit that you wanted to wear to the gym? Is it uh, an outfit that you wanted to wear out for a date or out with the friends to the movies? Is it out at the beach or the pool, wherever it is you want to go? And picture your joy and your happiness and the smile on your face and let that smile light up your entire being. And tell your body, thank you. Tell your brain, thank you and really enjoy that feeling. Continuing to breathe in and up and out and down. And then when you're ready, you can simply open your eyes, coming back to the here and now, put a smile on your face and knowing that you're gonna go about your day and honor each and everything that you just did 
throughout your entire day. And that little meditation took you guys a few minutes. You can do that at the, in the morning before you get out of bed. And you can do that at night as you're falling asleep. And then as at night, you can tell yourself, I'm ready to fall asleep and let yourself go naturally into a sleep pattern. Um, but you can also use that if you're finding that you're out and about, you can do a simple meditation before you even open a menu, before you go out with friends and just tell your body, I'm gonna honor my body and honor how I feel and my energy levels. And then you're gonna make healthier choices as you go. So, so there you go. Some really, really great mindset mindset advice from Stacia on how to really do this, how to take everything that we share with you, put it into practice and actually get that mindset working for you to lose weight. Because when the mind is working with your body, so many different things will change. Inflammation changes, stress hormones change. Everything gets much easier if you can get your mind really into what you're trying to do. So if you liked what we had to offer, like and subscribe so that way you know when we post more content to help you with hormone balance and weight loss.